Things Architects Should Know – Fire Protection The primary objective of a fire protection system is to protect life, property and the environment by preventing, detecting, controlling and extinguishing fires, ensuring occupants can safely evacuate, minimising damage and allowing for business continuity. This is achieved through a combination of active, sprinklers, alarms and passive, fire rated walls, exits, measures, adhering to codes to reduce risks. Key objectives, life safety. The highest priority is giving people time to escape by providing early warnings, alarms, and clear protected evacuation routes, egress systems. Property protection, limiting fire spread and damage to buildings, contents, and infrastructure which also satisfies insurance needs and reduces downtime. Fire control and suppression. Automatically detecting heat, smoke and activating systems like sprinklers to suppress or extinguish fires before they become catastrophic. Business continuity. Minimising operational interruptions, allowing businesses to recover quickly after an incident by protecting critical infrastructure. Regulatory compliance meeting legal fire safety codes and standards for design, construction and maintenance. How it's achieved. Detection. Smoke detectors, heat detectors and alarm systems. Alerting. Audible, visual alarms to notify occupants and trigger emergency services. Suppression. Sprinklers, extinguishers, fire pumps and specialised suppression agents. Containment fire-resistant materials, fire doors, and compartmentation. Egress. Clear, smoke-protected corridors and stairwells.